Here is my full and completely honest Anytime Fitness review. Oh, hi, Mac. I hate YouTubers that ramble on, so let's jump right into it. I'm gonna give you a short review and then a long review. Short review, I'd rank it 4.5 stars out of five. For the most part, I love the gym. I love the functionality, a lot of the features behind it. I have joined a lot of other gyms in the past. Being honest, Anytime Fitness is my favorite gym and I don't really see myself switching at any point. That being said, Anytime Fitness is far from perfect. So I wanna talk about the pros and the cons now of Anytime Fitness. Starting with the pros, one, you use a fob to get in. So it looks like this, just to show you, you tap it at the door, you hear like a buzzer sound and you open it. I know a very small positive thing, but I do like that because I have joined other gyms where I had to like download an app or use a typical barcode like a library to scan in. And sometimes it just doesn't really work that well. In addition, I've also joined other gyms where you type in your phone number. Sometimes it can get kind of glitchy. So I will say in terms of just entering in the Anytime Fitness, I do like the functionality of the fob that I just tap it, it buzzes and I open the door. The second thing I really like about Anytime Fitness and in my opinion, probably one of the biggest benefits is the fact Every location is 24 seven. Maybe that is why you're watching this video. I travel a lot and it's so nice when traveling to be able to just pop in one anytime without having to check the hours beforehand or something. If I need to shower, if I need to work out, I never have to worry about one not being open. I even heard now that post pandemic, even 24 hour fitness isn't fully 24 hours, depending on the location, which is such a oxymoron or ironic or whatever the word is. Planet Fitness is the same way as well, where some of the locations are 24 seven, other ones are not. I am glad that with Anytime Fitness, I know every location is 24 seven. The third thing I really like is the amount of locations. In case you didn't know, Anytime Fitness has the most gym locations out of any gym chain, period. There's over 2,300 different Anytime Fitness locations here just in the United States alone. So there's a lot of spots to go to, which is very convenient. Even here in LA, which is where I live, there's like three or four Anytime Fitnesses around the area. Different states have them all over the place. And like I said earlier, especially with traveling that they're all 24 seven, it's pretty awesome as well that there's the most locations period out of any gym. Meaning that when I am traveling, I'm on the road, I really never have to worry about not finding an Anytime Fitness. They are everywhere. Now on to the cons, because of course, Anytime Fitness is not perfect. I will say definitely and by far my favorite gym that I've joined so far, and I've joined a bunch of them from Anytime Fitness, Snap Fitness, 24 Hour Fitness, and some mom and pop ones and whatever. But as much as I do like it, there are some negatives. One, I do find that when it comes to Anytime Fitness, the gyms are traditionally smaller than other gyms. It is tough to say based off the gym, but I'd say Anytime Fitness is about a third of the size of a traditional gym, depending on some other gyms, maybe even a quarter of the size. Of course, every single Anytime Fitness is a bit different, but be prepared, there's definitely a lot less room. And as you can imagine with less room, that means there's less equipment. So even though they do really have everything you need to work out, I mean, if you wanna let's say do squatting, for example, some Anytime Fitnesses only have one squat rack. And you're like, all right, so now I just have to wait in line or something. So that can be annoying for me personally. I make music and I film videos for a living, which is still kind of ridiculous. So I can go whenever I want. So I typically go around one or 2 p.m. So I go in a very off hour, but I can imagine if you're going at five or 6 a.m. or five or 6 p.m., you know, before work or after work, I can see it being very tricky. Like say, if you're looking for that one specific piece of equipment, you're just gonna have to trade off and everything. The second thing is a quote unquote locker room. I've been to a lot of Anytime Fitnesses. I've never seen a locker room ever. I'm not exaggerating. There's no locker room. And this goes hand in hand now with the bathroom and the shower situation was like a third negative aspect. This kind of goes hand in hand with that, that for Anytime Fitness, because there's no locker room, there are just designated bathroom areas. And sometimes there's only like one or two bathrooms that includes a shower, which means let's say you have to shower and you want to go on with your day. There's been some times I had to wait in line to shower because there's only two showers, two showers for the entire gym. And that also includes the bathroom. So let's say someone's just going in to go to the bathroom, for example, you're now waiting in line to use the bathroom, the shower, pretty much whatever. I will say it does depend upon the Anytime Fitness. For example, I went to one in Vegas that there was only two bathrooms, one for guys, one for girls, that's it. 
that's it. And that also included the shower. So let's say if you have to go to the bathroom, but someone's showering, you're gonna have to wait a long time, which is very annoying. However, there's another one I went to, like say here in LA, for example, that had four bathrooms, but what was interesting about these four bathrooms is that each one was multi-gender, so anyone could go in, but only two of them had showers. So sometimes when I went to this Anytime Fitness, you'd see this mini line form for the two bathrooms that had the showers, but then the other ones, there was no line because I was just to go to the bathroom and then get out. But those really are the biggest negatives. One, the size. For me, I'm gonna be honest, the size isn't as much of an issue for me, especially because I do a lot of cosmetics and bodyweight training. So to me, that's not an issue, but the whole showering situation, like I said, especially if I'm traveling and I have to shower there, sometimes I have to be prepared to just wait 20-ish minutes to be able to shower because there's no locker rooms, there's only a couple bathrooms. Now, the big thing I wanna finish off this video with is the membership. You may be wondering, with all this being said, how much does it cost? How does this all work? There's two really weird things about the Anytime Fitness membership. One, in order for the FOB to work, at other locations, it takes a month to be put in the system. So once you sign up with your main gym, you can go there no issue, but if you wanna travel, let's say if you're getting an Anytime Fitness membership today and you're gonna start traveling tomorrow or next week, you do have to wait a month. Huge pro tip though, if you go and ask them to expedite it, they will. So I remember when I signed up, I said, hey, I'm actually going to Denver, Colorado. Is there any way you can expedite this whole FOB process? And my FOB was ready to go in every location within three days, which is super fast way faster than a month. So let's say if you do want to expedite that process, like say if you are traveling, going on a road trip, or planning on using different locations, make sure you ask them because unfortunately your FOB will not work at any other location until a month from your sign-on date. The second thing, now talking about the cost. Okay, how much does it actually cost? It depends. And that's what's super weird about Anytime Fitness. Depending on the location, some charge more, some charge less, which is really weird. So I've seen some locations, like say here in LA, charge anywhere between 60 and 70 bucks a month, which is outrageous to me. I've seen other ones charge only 35 to 40 a month, which to me is a bit more reasonable. So the weird thing is, and this is where it gets even more interesting, and again, huge pro tip, if anyone from Anytime Fitness is watching, X out this video, you didn't watch this part. What's weird, is you can go and sign up at a cheaper gym, go there once just to sign up, get your fob activated everywhere, and then never go back. For example, here in LA, the closest one to me is 60 bucks a month. And I was like, I just feel like that's kind of overpriced. Like 60 bucks a month, a little overpriced for me. However, I noticed there was a gym an hour from me that was only 40 a month. So I drove an hour, signed up with them, started paying $40 a month, asked them to expedite my fob so I could go anywhere. They did within three days, like I said. And now I actually only go to the one near me, which is traditionally 60 bucks a month. But in a sense, I'm only paying 40 because I'm paying it at the other location, which I've never gone back to since I've signed up. I don't know why they do this. It, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I'm honestly not sure. But if I were you in your location, if you want to sign up, just call every Anytime Fitness, find whichever one is the cheapest, go there, sign up, expedite the fob so you can go anywhere and then you're pretty much good to go and now you're saving money every month so that one time two hour round trip drive that i had to make to sign up allows me to save an extra 20 bucks a month every month pretty awesome